for the lower bracket finals between Cambodia and the Philippines. Let's get into it. Let's go. If you have Astas in your team, it means that you can have a longer team fight here, right? So Philippine they has this uh, potential, but the thing is they have to make sure no one can touch Phil and Luna and also Soriano from behind. They need to play around the mid lane for sure. The far star is very strong in the early game, but that's about the only early power hero they can use to make plays around. Now a fight breaks out in the list of Wanderer, but the Philippines will back away. They understand that they require a bit of time before they can match the team fight, the skirmish from the side of Cambodia. Mm -hmm. They play. They have to play a really slow from Philippines here. Make sure they don't give a chance for Cambodia to just snowballing in the first game, in the early game. And Soriano really, really need to make his time to get all of the items that he needs. It is a late game hero for sure. We've seen Soriano actually perform really well in the early game, winning out trades against unfavorable matchups. But right now against Cambodia, that might be a bit too dangerous as T is waiting in the sidelines as both teams, they're really just playing it out passively. Mm -hmm. And now, Plona trying to make the rotation going into the Ooh. bottom lane here. OP. Got a lot of burst damage coming from Soriano here. Meanwhile, Imam trying Ooh. to stun it That's and stun. the stun connect. That's some follow up here, but OP is able to escape. But the flicker comes in. That's the first blood for Soriano. And T is in the area, but he will not be able to do anything as the turtle actually spawns right here. And the Filipinos have a bit of pressure advantage, but they are outnumbered on the top side. Meanwhile, it's going to be a turtle objective that will be knocked by both of the teams. And it seems that Cambodia, they want to try to contest it. T trying to find someone there, trying to use that I'm offended. And then hand of T, but he has a level 4 yet. And there's gonna be a Lutu who's gonna get that first turtle objective here. First turtle secured on that market stick. On the bottom side though, Imam with a better airstrike. Bye bye, OP gets taken out. And we've talked about this. Cambodia really likes relying on OP for damage in the mid game. If he gets picked off like this again and again, it's going to be very difficult for them to match the Philippines once that sixth or seven minute comes up. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be a threat coming from Cambodia with the one turtle objective coming from Cambodia. Meanwhile, there's no an early aggression that coming from Cambodia like we discussed it earlier, right, Arashi? Mm -hmm. It's more into the Philippines. They make the they are making this rotation, so they want to make sure that actually Cambodia. They don't have an early aggression with the draft that they have. Mm -hmm. They are avoiding problems in the, you know, in those neutral objectives where Cambodia have an edge. So the Filipinos, they're just waiting for their power spikes. And once they do feel like they have a, a chance here, they're going to try and go for those big fights, those big pickoffs. They do have a bit of crowd control advantage. We'll have to see what happens in the XP lane. Though, so Soriano gets taken out. He gets pulled back, but no, he's actually able to survive. And he is sustained by the blessing of the Moon Goddess as the Philippines, they're coming back in. They're trying to get something in exchange here as Deja gets taken very, very low, but it will still be both teams not losing a single member. That was very a good combo coming from Flicker and also the arm offended from T. Now, Philippines, they have to make sure the rotation is coming from Cambodia. They have to make sure that Phila Luna can do the same thing as well. So they have to make sure there's no engagement coming from Cambodia into the gold lane. Imam is still sustained up. Ooh. Better airstrike is being used, but in this early game, not enough damage. But you can see the Cambodians, they are trying their best to make plays happen. They need to, because if they just cruise into the mid game, that is where the Philippines actually have a bit of an advantage as Dabadab goes in. He is 1v2 right now. Deja comes in to get involved as well, but he is sustained so well until Boom comes in the back line, zoning away everyone else as the Badab gets pushed away. Everyone is still very healthy due to the blessing of the Moon Goddess, and Del Rosario goes back in. Unfortunately, they are unable to get anyone, but they get control in the turtle pit. They will get the second turtle. Okay, now Filaluna is going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem for Cambodia. They have to find a way how to reach Filaluna in the back line. It means they have to use the, the surprise initiation coming from T with the flicker and also the I'm offended, right? But meanwhile, Philippines, until minutes number five, they are keep giving up pressures in the, in the early game, so they want to they want to snowballing, okay? They want to make sure that Soriano get a lot of space, get a, a lot of items, get a lot of gold for the team fight in the mid until the late game. These two goal are a bit different because Opie definitely has more team fight presence on the mm -hmm. Melissa. 
But Soriano, the, given the right circumstances and the right follow-up, he can absolutely just burst someone down, and the pickoff gameplay becomes the main problem for Cambodia later on. But of course, with the pickoff potential, with the split push they have in the hands of Boom, maybe that's their solution to try and avoid those, uh, those circumstances. And now, Imam looking for another feather as it comes in and OP. Ooh. Who's gonna be the next, the first target? That pin second down in the bottom lane. He gets taken out and the tower will follow Little soon as well. Del Rosario destroyed. picks it up and he gets very, very what? low. As Del Rosario goes in, he is 1v3 under the turret. He is terrified he might just get taken out, but oh. no. Blessing of the Moon Goddess will save his life and the Philippines get another very solid advantage in that bottom side. Wow, there's really a good backup they're coming from Flo Luna. And right now, boom, it's gonna be another ultimate snipe that comes from Soriano. Orashi, what will Cambodia do? This is not good, man. They got OP essentially shot down 0 and 3. And now, boom, the other side of the map that Cambodia has been putting resources towards actually isn't doing that well either. Now it becomes the mid lane contest, but the Filipinos are grouping S4. They might just go for play here. Fierce Fighter being used by Dapadap, and T will be very, very low. He will get taken out by Soriano. Lutu is very low as well. OP comes in to zone everyone away, but look at the burst damage and look at the range advantage that the Filipinos can use in these fights. It's so hard for Cambodia because they don't have any chance. They don't have any chance how to go how to dive into the back line, trying to shut down Imam or maybe Filaluna in the first place, right? So if you want to target Del Rosario, I think it's kind of a little bit useless here for Cambodia, right? Yeah, because he is essentially a frontline member as well. Imam has the Purify, so jumping on him won't be that useful. But jumping on Vila Luna without the Purify still means that he is... They, they won't be focusing Soriano as well as Imam, so... A lot of problems for the Cambodians mm -hmm. and no real solution in sight. Right now, they're sitting in the top side as Boom waits for a bit of an opportunity, just waiting for a chance to do something, but it won't even be given to him. As on the other side, though, we do see that the Cambodians, they might be up to Blue something. They're gonna wait in the bush right here, but they will be zoned away by the spells being thrown into the bushes as the Feather Airstrike gets used just to zone them away again. Asserting dominance by Imam. I just feel that Cambodia, they are very, you know, it's, it's hard for them, actually. It's hard for them to find a way how to go into the back line from a Philippine here. Meanwhile, I think they have to make some a split push strategy here if they want to at least make some distraction towards Philippine. But I think Philippine, they want to force a team fight into the bottom lane right Ooh. now, actually. OP very, very low, but the goal away will save his life for just a bit. But the Federer Escher comes in for the snipe as Soriano does a thousand true damage. And right here, Lutus trying to escape with his life. That's a lot of utility available for the Philippines, though. He has chunked down lower and lower, and he is finally taken out, despite Deja stealing the blessing of the Moon Goddess. It won't be enough as the Philippines take control over the orange side jungle. I can say it's quite dominant they're coming from Philippines right now, right? Because with the 5k gold differences for Philippines, it makes Cambodia. They are losing in every lane right now, and there's gonna be another engage coming from Philippines. That's just a turret taken by the Philippines, and they go for the purple buff as well. Lutu is not having a good time at all. Right here, looks for a play, gets Imam, but will that be enough? Because he's chucked very, very low. Fata goes in with the Bravest Fighter, and that will be T taken out. It's always just a solid one-person pick, and now with that advantage, they go for the Lord. It's gonna be the first Lord for Philippines. Meanwhile, Cambodia, they don't wanna take a chance. They don't wanna take a chance to just Try to contest this Lord. Even though it's just the first lot, they're still able to defend their base. But the problem is, the Philippines is just way too dominating their game. They're just so solid right here. We saw that Cambodia, they tried to go for an exchange on the bottom side, but most of the jungle camps have just been cleared, and they aren't able to get the turret in the bottom side as well. So the Philippines get a solid free Lord, and now we have to look at the wave management. How will the Philippines use this Lord to get maximum value? We'll see, because there's, there are like four turrets in the hand of Philippines, and right now, Cambodia, they have to defend their own lane. OP, I think it needs, still needs some time to get the item here. But meanwhile, Soriano, he will take. There's someone that's hiding inside the bush here. Meanwhile, OP will try to wait for an initiator coming from T here with the I'm offended. Or maybe from Boom, right? It comes from the blind spot here, trying to surprise a Philippines team here. But I think it's not gonna happen because 
Philippines, they are trying to group as a five man. They want to give a pressure in their lane. They're just grouping as five and sieging down these turrets one by one because they have that range advantage. If any member from Cambodia missteps, that is them getting chunked down by the Feather Airstrike and maybe taken out as well by the Sniper. Li2 moves forward aggressively. He is chunked down to half HP almost instantly. And Boom will try and zone members away so that the Cambodians can survive. They can save their turret. They will succeed for now, but the Philippines, they're just going back to the same formation, taking away all the jungle jungle camps and then managing the lanes as well for maximum pressure. They want to play a discipline from Philippines. They want they don't want to make a mistake. They don't want to make a minor mistake here. They want to wait for Cambodia to just get out from base here, trying to see if there's gonna be an engagement coming from T. Ooh, better as I can use though, Boom is able to actually stop that aggression and Hi, tries to make a play happen, but the Philippines, they're just calm and composed. They have all the tools available to ensure the security of their back line. They will be able to just back away and wait for the next wave. And Cambodia needs to be the one that makes something happen. If they just wait for it, they're just waiting for Imam to get a pick up for Soriano. He just chopped down members just like that. Hi gets very, very low, and Del Rosario comes in. Fight up goes in with the Bravest Fighter as well. The turret shall fall, but wait a minute. The fight up goes a bit too aggressive, gets taken out, but the Philippines strike back. Lutu, very, very low. Tai as well. That'll be first kill, getting picked up by Soriano. And OP is nowhere to be seen. Zero and five. And now they are trying to keep pushing, going into the base of Cambodia. But with one for one trade, I think Philippines, they will wait for the next lord that will come in the 50 second ahead. Yeah, she's still zoning away with the Feather Airstrike. Yeah, they get taken very low, but the Ammo Feather is being used. Imam, very, very low. Gets taken out by Boom. And that will be the Filipinos. Still taking the bottom tunnel? It's on the minion here. One more hit. It's all it takes. And the Cambodians are able to actually save it. It doesn't look like much, but it's a massive victory for the lane, you know, land pressure game coming mm -hmm. in. But the Filipinos have pressure on this Lord. Unless the Cambodians want to contest them for it, knowing that Imam is not on the map. I think this is the chance for Cambodia if they want to turn back the table. They have to make something happen right now because it's four versus five team fight here. And there's come with the Deja. The howling is coming from Deja here. They try to stop all the Philippines come. Ooh. But the Rosario with the very, very good retribution comes in. And Philippines, they are trying to force the team fight here. They go for Lutu as well. That's a double kill for Soriano. And with two members down. The Cambodians back away, and on top of that, we did see that the Lord was secured as well. So, that's a disaster for the side of Cambodia. With two members down, Deja is trying to clear the wave as soon as possible. But the Philippines, they're just stalking their prey, waiting for the right chance to actually end the game. They are going to be waiting for the waves though, not willing to risk one of their members getting picked off like earlier. Yeah, because T can do everything with the flicker combo with the I'm offended here. But I think Philippines, they are very, very Ooh. aware with that. Look at the one shot damage coming from Soriano. Meanwhile, the Lord is coming in, Better trying to push right. into the base. The I'm offended being used though by T. That's two members Ooh. down. Shots on being picked up by Deja. But he didn't immediately turn straight back. And we can see that Lutu tries his best. And actually, the Cambodians are able to take out three members from the oh. Philippines. But it's not over yet. Deja is able to survive with a sliver of HP. And the Filipinos are repelled from the base. They are able to defend their base. Cambodia, they still have the hope here in the game number one. And Philippines with only one chance from Cambodia. Now Cambodia, they are melting down all of the members from Philippines. Let's take a look from the replay. It's really, really a good I'm offended and combo with the flicker that's coming from T. Philippines didn't expect it actually because they are still waiting for the Lord trying to give a pressure going inside the base of Cambodia. And you can see Cambodia wasting no time at all using destroyed. the momentum to try and take down structures. The goal difference is now only 6k, about 5k actually. And the Filipinos are trying to reassert their dominance. They cannot get caught in that kind of combo because there we saw that Villa Luna was actually able to use the Blessing of the Moon Goddess as well, but mm -hmm. it just wasn't enough. There's just way too much damage when everyone is clumped up like that. This must be a chance, right, for Cambodia to make it happen again. Maybe the second chance for Cambodia, but they have to execute it very, very perfect here. Meanwhile, the Philippines, now they have to respect with the ingots that can come from a T with the I'm offended here. So there's still like a 50 50 uh, situation here. There's still a 50 50 game for all of the teams, for both of the teams in the game number one. And the next Lord is gonna be.
an important alert for both of the teams here. In the long drawn out team fights, it definitely favors the Cambodians for sure. Having that Melissa hitting everyone at the same time will mean a, quite a big difference in the DPS department. But now we have a bit of a pause here. And man, finally some break from the action because this match, it does seem like at any moment the tides can swing from either team. It's quite scary actually for Philippines because Cambodia, they still have a chance like we mentioned it earlier, right? With the I'm offended and also the flicker combo coming from T, it can make a turn back table for Cambodia. Meanwhile, Philippines, they have to make sure this Phila Luna won't get caught. I mean, remember that Deja is still on a Valentina. You don't really see, it's not really as flashy as ha Imam on the Feathered Airstrike, on the Farsa. Mm -hmm. But that Valentina does a lot of damage. And when everyone's clumped down like that, that is very easy damage being used from the side of Deja. And we know that this man, given the right resources, given gold and EXP, can absolutely carry the game. Yeah, I agree with that. Because if you talk about the gold lane here, going into the mid and to the late games can be anyone's game, right? So it depends on the execution, especially for the Cambodia. Now, they still have their chance, even though they don't have the best turrets, because from the Philippines, they already secure at least two turrets in the middle and also in the top. But the problem is, for the big team fight, as I mentioned it earlier, Cambodia, they always have a chance to make at least a five-man team fight here with Philippines. Depends if the Philippines let the Cambodians go for those engages. Mm -hmm. But now that they've seen it once, or you can see it almost twice from an earlier team fight, they're going to be a lot more careful with their positioning. And now with the Lord spawning in four seconds, they have control and they are waiting in the mid lane. Someone might just fall into an ambush as the magic sentry is being used by the Cambodians, but it won't really tell them that much. That mid bush seems to be the main tool that the Filipinos are using right here. And Lutu, with his crowd control immunity, is trying to scout for a bit of a bit of intel. And he already sneaking on the sidelines, trying to make an engage happen, but the bad up will actually spot him out. And that will be the Lord getting taken to about half HP. And you can see that the pressure from the rest of the map is forcing the Cambodians to move differently. Yeah, with the line management advantage coming from Philip in the cafe, the mid fight here, and then look at that. The proper class that come in from Death Head Up, Lutu is being pushed away by the member of Philippine, and there's no video aspect. The Devil are you finally secure the third lord here. Boom goes in for a play here, but the blessing of the Moon Goddess is being used. Cambodia want to go for some more. They used the, con the conceal earlier, but it won't be enough. They don't have the engage required. The pad up goes in, and Lutu tries to commit for this, but Soriano with the kite does a lot of damage, and that's true damage bursting down. T, and he gets taken out yet again. That is two members down for 35 more seconds as the Filipinos they are using this Lord. They are looking for the end here as Deja gets pushed down with the long range combo, the snipe, and the better airstrike. That's will be the Filipinos going for the end, and they take game number one from Cambodia. Game number one for Philippines, very dominating, but almost though, for Cambodia. That is the best of three series. Philippines secured game number one. Means, meanwhile, Cambodia, they have to find a way how to turn back the table in the game number two.